The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 28th Chapter, Text Number 19, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 29th of October, 1975, in Nairobi, Kenya. Sitam Bhajantam Asinam Sayanam Bhasayam Rikshaniye Hitam Gaye Siddha Bhavena Chetas It is meditation. These Hatha Yogis, they meditate in their impersonal feature. But our meditation, Vishnu, the Buddhist meditation is very easy. For the Hatha Yogis, they have to select place, asan, then dharana, asan, asan is also one of the activities. But here in Vaishnava philosophy, you are seeing the deity always, at least daily. So you have got some impression that our temple deity is like this. That impression, how is that you are sitting in one place without any activities, sitam, brajantam, while walking on the street also, you can think of this thing. There is no difficulty. How is that you are sitting or you are walking or you are standing anyway because the mind is there in Krishna, in Krishna's form. The Pradhiti Vasi is so essential for the neophyte. He can have always the opportunity to think of the Supreme Law by the impression of the Diti within the mind. Sayanam, even in lying down, in talking, so this is our process, this is the perfect process. You don't require any artificial method to think of God. It is natural. If you simply come to the temple daily, chant in the front of the deity, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare then you become advanced immediately. Savai mana krishna padara vinda vachangsi vaipuntha gunanuvan. Now there are books. Either you chant, sit down in the uh, deity room, in front of the deity, see how arithmetic is going on, how deity is nicely dressed with flower ornaments. So if you constantly be engaged in thinking of the deity, that is first class meditation. Not artificially going to, that is not possible. At the present moment, that as it is recommended in the Bhagavad Gita, you have to select a very solitary place and you have to sit down under a certain posture, looking up open eyes on the tip of the nose so that you may not sleep in the name of meditation. There are so many. And you have to follow brahmacharya. All these rules and regulations are there. Then dharana, santana, pranayam, pranayam. Then, what is called? Pratyaha. Pratyaha means you have to completely withdraw the senses from sense gratification. There is called pratyā. Then there is samādhi. So this yoga system is recommended, but it is very, very difficult. Five thousand years ago, when Krishna explained this utter yoga system in the sixth chapter to Arjuna, Arjuna was honest man. He gladly denied Krishna these things cannot be done by him. Because 
in those days, especially a person like Arjun, why he should speak lies? This meditation is not possible. It was only possible in the Satyuga, when people were very peaceful, long duration of life. There was no artificial necessities of life. Krite jadhyato Vishnu at that time to meditate upon Vishnu and for years, just like Bhagavad Gita Muni, he practiced meditation for sixty thousand of years. Then he got perfection. At that time people used to live for one hundred thousand. So this meditation is very difficult. To execute at the present moment, that is the body of the Vedic literature. Tirte jadhato Vishnu tetaayam jagato makhi dapare parichajayam kalauta dhariki tamat. The meditation which was possible in the Krite, the Satyog, Satyog continued for twelve lakhs of years. Then Tetajuk eight lakhs of years. Now Satyajuk eighteen lakhs. Then Tetajuk twelve lakhs. Then Dapurjuk eight lakhs. And Kalijuk four lakhs. Altogether forty-three. So Bhakti Yoga includes everything. So this process, this Archon process, if we, if everyone alternately, this we learn how to wash it, that will give the impression of the Lord within the heart. And then either you are walking or you are sitting or you are lying or you are eating, you are talking, you always think of Krishna. This is the problem. It will be automatically done. Sitam Vajantam Asinam Sayanam Bhaguhasa. Generally the yogis they try to find out the Vishnu Murti within the core of the heart. But this is as good. Even when you are walking on the street, then if you are thinking, there will be no hindrance to your activities, but you can think of Krishna. Sabai Manak Krishna, that's like Maharaj Amburis, he was emperor. He had many responsibilities, but he practiced how to think of Krishna always. So he won up Krishna for the Aravinda. Bhachangsi bhai kuntha gunana vajnana. He engaged your senses. So this is practice. First of all think of the deity, first of all think of the lotus feet, then the knees, then the thighs, then the belly, then the chest. In this way, as you become practiced, then go farther and more. In this way, when you become fully practiced, then automatically, in whatever condition you are, you will be able to meditate upon Krishna. And that is the highest perfection of that. Satatam kīrtaṁ taṅvāham. Satatam chintaṁ taṅvāham. If you always think of Krishna, always chant, chanting is also meditation. As soon as you chant, you immediately remember Krishna, His form, His name, His quality, His best time. Where is difficulty? The Goswami is practicing. Krishna kīta na gāna nartta na karo prema mṛtāma nidhi. Dhīra dhīra janakriyau priyakarau nirmasarau pūjita Sri Chaitanya kripābharau bhubhubhubha bhārāvahantāra bandhe rūpa sanātanau lagujigau Sri Jīva Gopāra. The six Goswāmis, they are always engaged. Krishna kītana, loudly chant. The same process we are following, loudly chant, always. Be engaged in archan. Always there is a possibility of Krishna consciousness. The facilities are there. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught us. Kirtaniya Sadahari. Then Prakhaniya. Prakhaniya, he is worth seeing. 
we are accustomed to see so many things, uh, that is our bondage. Akno phalam. By the eyes, you see the deity, the Vaishnavas. The Vaishnavas, by tilak, with kanthi, with chanting beads, as soon as you see, they're practically you know, as soon as they see this Hare Krishna movement people, they also chant Hare Krishna, giving a chant uh, to the other. And the dress is also required. You should be always equipped with tila, kanthi, and sikha, sutra. Then as soon as a common man sees, oh, here is Hare Krishna man, Hare Krishna, you chant. <laughs> Automatically, you give a chance to chant Hare Krishna. So this is required. The foolish that says, they say, then what is the necessity of this, that? No, this is necessary. You must always remain dressed like a vaśna. That is necessity. So, Mm-hmm. Prakhaniya. That is very beautiful to see. Otherwise, how they become impressed. Immediately they become so pious that they chant Hare Krishna. Uh, the chanting of Hare Krishna is not so easy. So many people come here, but when there is chanting, they do not chant. Uh, because it, it is not easy. Jajibhaka Ramatubham. Uh, in the Shastra it is said, Ahavato sapachatu upadaryana jaddibhagri namadubham. Anyone who is chanting Hare Krishna, jibhagri, with the tongue, even if he is born in a family of dog eaters, he is glorious. That is, he is glorious. Jaddibhagri namadubham. So, we give this chance. As soon as he chants Hare Krishna, immediately he becomes glorious. Immediately he becomes glorious. Ahavata sapachu tapigaryana jajjibhagyana tipustapaste. That means in his previous life he has already performed many sacrifices. Therefore he has got this qualification of chanting Hare Krishna. Tipustapaste juhubhu susnu arya. They are really Arya, Aryan. He is chanting Hare Krishna. So we should practice ourselves to chant Hare Krishna always. Kirtaniya Sadahari, Chaitanya Mahapuja Gavande. Tinadi Pishuni Tena, Tarura Pisha Hishnuna, Amani Namana Dena, Kirtaniya Sadahari. Harinam is chanting of Hare Krishna mantra. One should practice always. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna. So, prikhaniya hitam dhyayet. This is meditation. That chuddha bhavena, chuddha bhavena, not artificial, but even if you do artificially, you will be purified by chanting. Artificially, if we do, that is the Shastra. Uh, still, the chanting of the holy name is so powerful that uh, it will make you, because it is directly associating with God. Uh, that uh, so as soon as you chant immediately, there will be meditation. Suddha bhavena chetasa, by consciousness, by the mind, by intelligence. Uh, this is the recommendation. The process of meditating on the form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead within oneself and the process of chanting the glory of first times of the Lord are the same. There is no difference. This is called Advaya Gya. No difference. Absolutely. Either you chant here or you try to see within your heart the Supreme Lord, the same thing. The only difference is that hearing and fixing the mind on the first times of the Lord is easier than visualizing the form of the Lord within one's heart because as soon as one begins to think of the Lord, especially in this age, the mind becomes disturbed and due to so much agitation, the process of seeing the Lord within the mind is interrupted. 
Suppose the one is a big businessman. He is always thinking of his business, how to sell this, how to purchase this. This is his mind is absorbed with these things. So if he sits down to meditate upon the Lord, it will not be possible. It will not be possible. His mind will be disturbed and he will think of his business transaction. That is natural. But if you chant Hare Krishna loudly, you will be forced to hear Krishna and that Krishna immediately comes within your mind by force. So it is better process than sit down and think of Krishna. When there is sound vibratory passing, the transcendental pastimes of the Lord, however, one is forced to hear. That hearing process enters into the mind and the practice of yoga is automatically performed. For example, even a child can hear and derive the benefit of meditating on the past times of the Lord simply. And that's like these children. They do not understand English, they do not understand language. But when they will be chanting, they will stand up and dance. Uh, let's see how this process is. There is no question of language understanding, no question of uh, being young or child. Anyone who will hear the chanting of Hare Krishna mantra, he will be enthused immediately. And uh, that is natural. Unless he is covered with sinful activities very much, he will be enthused. Uh, but even if he is covered with sinful activities, by chanting, immediately the process of cleansing begins. Sinnatam sakata krishna punna sarvana kirtana. Simply by hearing and chanting he becomes pious. And the more he becomes pious, he understands what is God, what is Krishna. Without being pious, nobody can understand. Jishāṁ tu anta gathaṁ pāpaṁ janānāṁ punna karmānāṁ te zanda mahāṁ So the punna karma means jagat dhyāna tapasya. That is called punna karma, pious activities. So in this age, who is going to perform jagat? When that capacity? It is not possible. And who has got money to give in charity? Huh? Uh, everyone is poverty seeking. Everyone is unfortunate. Everyone is it. So how he can give in charity? Any any country you go, maybe in some special, otherwise you will find poverty stricken men, hungry men, without any culture, without any education. They are, they are majority. Mandra Bhagya. So Mandra Matri. And uh, mostly sent person, why sent person, bad? They are manda, bad men. They won't hear about their real necessities of life. Uh, manda, sumanda manda. And they, if they are at all interested uh, for progress of life, they will accept some so-called system. Uh, sumanda manda, it has no meaning, simply bluff. They will accept that. Mandasa Manda Why? Manda Bhagya. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Mandasa Manda Matayo. Manda Bhagya. Upadhyata. And always disturbed. This is the description of the man in this college. Group. And beyond that, they are short living. The duration of life is very short. Under these circumstances, uh, the general process is impossible. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommended Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Kivalam, Kalo, Nasdeva, Nasdeva. So, this is the. So, hearing includes applying the mind. In this age of Kali Yuga, Lord Chaitanya has recommended that one should always engage in chanting and hearing Bhagavad Gita. Jare dakho tare kaho Krishna mudesh. Krishna also said, somebody questioned me, yeah, where is chanting? He is commanded in the Bhagavad Gita. 
satatam kirtan tan maam yajan tashta dirabdha. And they say, where well, is chanting? Here is chanting. Maam, satatam kirtan tan maam. Maam, Krishna kirtan. Not this kirtan, that kirtan. They have imitated. No. Savanam kirtanam Vishnu. Savanam kirtanam means the name of Vishnu. The Mahavadis have invented in the in Calcutta and in Bengal, they have inter- invented Kali Kirtan. Kali Kirtan. The Ram Krishna Misha. They have invented Kali Kirtan. Why Hari Kirtan? Kali Kirtan. They were a party. As we say, because they are rivals, we say Hari Krishna, they will say Kali, 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 like that. This is why. Kirtan does not mean any other name. Kirtan means Vishnu. Uh, Sabanam Kirtanam Vishnu, clearly stated. But these bogus, uh, so called Samis and Yogis, they cheat people, black people by their own uh, concoction. That is the difficulty. Uh, even if you speak the right truth, uh, they are unable to receive it because they have been deceived by so many rascals. So, kirtan means, Krishna says in the Bible, satatam kirtan tan ma, Krishna. He doesn't say that any kirtan will do. No. He doesn't say. Satatam kirtan tan ma, jatantasthi divabhrata. So, everything is there. Stick to Hare Krishna Mahamantra and see the deity always and have impression of the deity and in whichever position you are, he will be meditating and your life will be successful. Thank you. Next is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 30th, 1975, in Nairobi, Kenya. Sasmin Ratha Padam Chityam Sarva Bhayava Samasthitam Vilakshai Katra Samjujyat Andi Bhagavatu Mani. So, as we have explained many times, that this Achamutti, uh, the rascal class of man, they cannot understand Achamut. They think that they, they are worshipping idol. Even among the Hindus, there are so-called followers of Vedas. They also say that what is the necessity of worshipping deity in the temple. They made very vigorous propaganda in India to stop temple worship. For a short time it has got some reaction, but now it is finished. That this rascal propaganda not to worship the deity in the temple is finished. Nobody cares for it. Uh, they think that God is everywhere except in the temple. <laughs> that is their view. And God is everywhere, why not in the temple? No, that is their poor fund of knowledge, they cannot accommodate. No. God is everywhere, but not in the temple. This is their intelligence, that's that. So, we have to follow that for acharya. Acharya van purusha vila, one who has accepted acharya, one who knows the shastra and practically behaves according to the regulation of shastra, he is called acharya, achidati shastra. Uh, so, all the acharyas, 
อันนี้ยาแต่ละไม่ได้เท่าคุณเท่าคุณสักทัมปุลมีวิธีบิดทัมปุล especially in South India some of them we have seen uh, each temple is like a big fort so all these temples were established by the acharyas not that the people h i n d i c a l l y established no It's still there is very prominent temple balaji temple tirupati t i r u m a l a people are going and the daily collection is more than 1 lakh of it still although they have been propagated so vigorously not to visit temple but people that is the birth right in india they are automatically krishna conscious automatically uh, therefore all the devi gods they also desire to take automatic so the temple what see is essential so those who are against temple what see duty what see they are not very intelligent class of men foolish m u r a again the same word r a m a n d u s k i t i n a m u r a p r a p a d d a n t e n a r a d a m a माया आप ल ि त ज ् ञ ा न आसुरी भाव वाला माया आप ल ि त ज ् ञ ा न दे आर टॉकिंग वेरी बिग बिग वर्ड द ट गॉड इज एवरीवेयर बट दे आर फर्विंग टेंपल आप ल ि त ज ् ञ ा न द नॉलेज इज इम्परफेक्ट ए कॉमन मैन कैन से इफ गॉड इज एवरीवेयर व्हाई नॉट इन द टेंपल एंड इफ यू हैव टू वर्सिप गॉड व्हाई नॉट इन इज ओ The original form Krishna when he was present, the original form. So many people have seen. They have got photograph, not photograph, paintings, uh, and it is confirmed in the shastras, in the Brahma Sangita. Dinum kannan tam aravinda dalaya tap sang barahavatam samasitam budhusundaram. Krishna is described in the Brahma Sangita. From home, millions and millions of years ago, described by Lord Brahma, the Dhenum Kannan Tangaravin Jagalaya Sam. He is uh, always plenty plain. He is fruit. Dhenu. Dhenu means fruit. Kannan Tam, and eyes are like the petals of lotus flower. Dhenu Kannan Tam. Aravinda Dalaya Tapsam, Barahavatamsa, and on the head he has got the bloom of peacock feather. In this way, the description is there in the shastra. And when Krishna came, let him why he disturb? Let him do it. Do that. <coughs> so. Shastra says Krishna is like this, and when Krishna appeared on this planet, the exactly the same description was there in his form. So we have to uh, accept the form of the Lord as confirmed in the Shastra and as confirmed by the Acharya. Then it is perfect. Sadhu Shastra Guru Bhakko Vinete Kuriya Utko. We have to understand something uh, very rigidly by three things. They, it must be confirmed by the Shastra, and it must be confirmed by the Acharyas, and. By the spiritual master, very simple thing. We have the description of Krishna in the Shastra, Brahma Sangita, 
the chitta is given by Lord Brahma, and this Brahma Sangita uh, was collected from South India in handwriting by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he delivered to his devotee. So the sadhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna, still he is playing the part of a sadhu. Uh, sadhu and Shastra Brahma Sangita. And because we have received from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we are delivering to all disciples. Here is Krishna's form. The Sadhu, Shastra, Guru. So it might be Then we can accept. Not that whimsically, if some rascal comes and becomes born by concoction, we cannot accept. It must be confirmed by... Why do you bother? Let me... No. As he likes it. Uh, sadhu, Shastra, Guru. This is the way. Uh, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was instructing uh, Sanatana Goswami uh, in various subject matter and he uh, also described the incarnation and Kaliju from Shastra. Uh, that Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna Sangha Panga Asta Parsadam Jagai Shanti Tanai Prai Jajanti He quoted from Bhagavatam. This is the incarnation of Kaliju. Uh, so he is himself jagdai samti tanai prai. Sata Sanatana Goswami was Prime Minister, very intelligent man. So he, he had inquired from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that uh, how we can accept the avatar. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also said from the Shastra. Uh, and uh, Pratam Goswami got it confirmed that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was, he stopped, of course, when he inquired, so, shall I accept this personality who is now preaching Sankirtan movement and uh, along with his associate, he is the Supreme Lord. Uh, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, let us go on further, we don't. So this is the way not whimsically accept any rascal as avatar. No, that is not because any rascal as God. These rascal lamas kill the whole human society to become atheist. Uh, you should be very, very careful of these rascals. Uh, as soon as somebody says that I, I am God, you shall immediately take him as dog, not God. Uh, so, God is not so cheap. In the Brahma Sangita, the description of God, Krishna is given, and it is said that the Saitanisya Sita Kalama Thavalamma Jeevanti Loma Vilaja Jagadanna Natha Vishnu Mahana Sahaya Jasya Kalavisi Tho Govinda Madhi Purisham Tamahanga Govinda, the Adipuru, he is plenary representation, he is Mahavishnu. And what is this is description of Mahavishnu? Jasya eka nishasita kalama thavarama. From one uh, excelling of the breed, uh, then jasya eka nishasita kalama thavarama. All these innumerable universes. We are seeing we are in one universe. Uh, there are many millions of universes uh, that we cannot see. We are within this universe, compact. We can see uh, it is packed up, just like a ball. Uh, but there are many such. Uh, so all these different 
uh, universe says, controlled by one Lord Brahma, uh, they are coming during the excelling period of Mahavishnu's breathing. That is God. Who can imagine it? Yasaikanishasita Kalamathavalamma Jivanti Lomo Viloja Jagadantana. The universe is coming from the what is called? Whole? Yes. Pores. Pores of the body from breathing in this way. Then just imagine how many pores are there in the Mahavishnu's body and how many universes are coming. And this is also confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Asabha bahunaitena kinyatena tavajana vishyabhya idam kisnam ekamsena sthito yadat. This material manifestation is one for part of my energy. So many innumerable, innumerable universes. And this is the plenary portion of God. Govinda. Not full, but plenary. One part of And do you think God is so cheap? Anyone can become God? Uh, you don't take so cheaply. That here is a God, incarnation, here is a God. We all bogus. Immediately rejected. Sadhu Sattva Guruva. So, this Archa Vidraha, which you are worshipping, it is Recommended by sadhu, by acharya, by shastra. It is not poetic imagination. Don't think that Krishna's form has been cut by the sculptor by some poetic imagination. No. Sadhu shastra guru. It is confirmed by sadhu, by shastra, by acharya. So why? To give us facility. Give us facility. We cannot see uh, God by this uh, blunt materialistic eyes. Uh, materialistic eyes means everything we think in the, uh, uh, with reference to our sense gratification. That is materialistic eyes. Uh, everything belongs to God. Uh, that we cannot believe, uh, neither we have got the power to understand it. Krishna said, God said, sarva loko mahasaram, everything belongs to me. Still we are fighting, no, this Africa is mine, this America is mine, or this India is mine. They simply fight, simply fight on this misconception. It is clearly said, and it is a fact, how you, you, this land becomes yours. Uh, it does not belong to you. You have come for the time being, uh, for say fifty years, hundred years, but the land is lying for millions and millions of years. So before your coming the land was there, and after your going away the land will be there. How it becomes yours? But they have no common sense. These rascals. They have no comments. They are fighting, nationalists. Uh, therefore they are described as gokha. Gokha, animals. Cows and asses. Jashāpa buddhi puna pīti dhātati sadhik kalatra dhisu bhauma ijyadhi. Bhauma ijyadhi, this is nationalism. Worshipping the land of bark. This is called nationalism. So everyone is becoming very great personality by Bhoma Yajyadi, the land in which he has taken birth is worshipable. Not this deity. Deity is impersonal, but the land is personal. This is the answer. Wherefore in Thaspa it is said, Yashaka Buddhi Kunapeti Dhati. The mistake begins from this. Misunderstanding that I am this body. Therefore, uh, all other mistakes, what are those? The Sarpu Buddhi Kunapiti Dhan Sadhik Kalatradi, who are family, 
my wife, this is my wife, this is my children, this is my father, this is my mother, we are in a family. Hmm? So the, they are, they are mine, they are my teeth and king, others, they are all my enemies. So the, this crippled thought, uh, dasyātha buddhi kuna pīti dhātu sadhik kalatrādīśu, because they have no knowledge that nobody is my father, nobody is my mother, I am nobody's son. We are simply assembled together uh, under certain conditions, and just like some straws gathered together by the waves of the river, and again by the same river, it is tossed here and there and then so on and so on. So we can study our history of life that some was born in India, some was born in America, some was born in Africa, Canada. So we have come together. Uh, we did, there was no idea that we shall have to give up our family relationship and come into the society of Krishna consciousness. Uh, uh, similarly, we mix together, intermingled, by chance, not by chance, by the arrangement of the Supreme, by providence. Uh, Karmanāda yunatrena. So we play the part of the son, the father, the wife, the children, but it is exactly the same, a straw gathering by the waves of the river. Uh, so just like sometimes uh, in a foreign country we make some relationship, brother, father, but that is not actual. Uh, the fact. The real father is Krishna. Sarvajoni sukaunti or sammamanti mutai. This is understanding. So, we have to return to that understanding. Therefore, it is advised how to make our relationship stronger with Krishna. That is recommended here. Hmm. <coughs> Kasmin Lamdamadam Chittam Sarva Avayabam Samaspitam. Don't think that Krishna or God has no head, no tail. No. Sarva Avayabam Samaspitam. Virat Murti. They are repeatedly said in the Samadhi Bhagavatam. But his Avayava, different parts of the body, they are different from our, this material. Hmm? At the present moment, the material concepts are that is different. Uh, we just like uh, we can uh, pick up our food stuff by this hand. Uh, this hand is not just like Krishna's hand. Krishna's hand appears to be not moving. I I think my hand is moving. Uh, but Krishna is so powerful that even he has got a so-called statue hand, a metal hand or a stone hand, he can capture food, which you offer. That you have to understand. When Krishna is described as he has no hand, that means he has no that limited hand as we have. He has got, he, he appears before us just like a stone idol or statue, but he has got all the capacities of the limbs of the body, sattva He has kindly appeared before us so that we can see. Eh? Reality is recommended. <coughs> You have to see each and every part of the body, limb of Krishna. Uh, that is meditation. Uh, this Achavigraha, by offering worship to the deity, you see the lotus feet is there, the ankle is there, the mask and the uh, soul is there, uh, everything is there. So each and every part you study and understand Krishna is here. Krishna is here. 
This is my wish. It is not that the rascal theory that God can, is everywhere except in the temple. No, it is not like that. He is everywhere. Now he has appeared in this temple specifically to show his mercy how we can study very analytically. Here is feet, here is hand, the feet is marked with this symptom, his hand is like this, his um, uh, fruit is like this, his hair is like this, his eyes are. Study everything, manually. Uh, then that is meditation and this will help you to think of Krishna constantly and that is the uh, trance, uh, samad, samad, practical. Uh, it is not to be imaginary. The Maharajis, they think that it is imagination. No, it is not imagination. It is not found by the Shastra, Sadhu, Shastra, Guru. So, don't be misled by the Maharajis as we have got our acharyas, they are instructing, as Bhagavata is instructing, Bhagavad Gita is instructing, uh, we have to follow. Uh, and if we cannot follow, then we should see the acharyas, how they are doing, Mahajana, Jina, Gatasya, Pantha. Uh, in this way, we have to make our life perfect. Thank you very much.